Did you guys watch the Oscars? I bet at least you know that Leonardo DiCaprio won an award and then Priyanka Chopra looked stunning in her outfit like whoever her designer was. But did you ever hear about Planned Parenthood's baby bot scandal? I bet you did not. Well this is about something which none of the Indian news media informed you about. Not the NDTV, not the Times of India, not India Today. So let me get to the point. I'm right now standing in front of Planned Parenthood, America's largest abortion provider. And there's something you need to know about this organization. My name is Carmel. I'm a sidewalk counselor. I'm an Indian living in United States. So why should you know about Planned Parenthood? Like why should you even care? I'll get to that quickly. Planned Parenthood is a, America's largest abortion provider. Their business is abortion. Yes, you heard me right. Abortion is legal in America any time before birth. Like you can abort a child at 35 weeks, 37 weeks, even 40 weeks for no particular reason. And this is what they call as a women's choice or women's rights. Do you agree with that? So why should you be bothered about this? Well, you have to be because this organization is in India. Planned Parenthood is in India under the name of Family Planning Association of India. They run 4,000 service center. Can you imagine that? They want to destroy our values, our families in the false propaganda of women's rights. They provide same services in India, just like what they do in America. Planned Parenthood, that is Family Planning Association of India, is in Delhi, Chennai, Bombay, Gujarat, Bangalore, Trivandrum, in all major cities in all states in our country. They work with NGOs and government for various purposes, claiming they advocate for women's rights but all they do is abortion. So what's up with this organization? Why should you be concerned about this? Well, last year in the month of June, a controversial sting video operation found out that this same organization, Family Planning Association of India, that is Planned Parenthood, is selling the baby parts of aborted babies to biotech companies. So once a woman has an abortion in this center and she leaves the clinic, they just don't discard the aborted babies they tear them apart limb by limb, part by part, and sell them. Like heart for $50, neural tissue for $100 to $500, gall bladder, spleen, kidney, liver, whatever the body parts are. And that's a huge industry. The link to these videos are available in the description section. The investigation on this scandal is still going on. More than 10 videos has been released on the scandal but none of the news media in India seem to cover the story. Why is that? Is the life of the unborn baby so cheaper than Priyanka Chopra's outfit? My question is, why wasn't the scandal covered and what's happening in Family Planning Association of India's abortion centers? Do they sell body parts of aborted babies too? This is the most criminal organization. The brave souls which undertook the sting operation are being persecuted for exposing this inhuman barbaric behavior. While abortion is itself inhuman and unthinkable violence, they make money out of the body parts of the victim. I'll split up the numbers for you. An abortion in this industry costs $500 and that's without anesthesia. So if you want to have an anesthesia while you have an abortion, it costs an additional $500. So $1,000 for an abortion and then they don't discard the body parts, they sell it part by part to the companies. That's an additional profit. This is all about money. This is not about women's rights. This is not about family planning. This is not about healthcare. This is all about money. This is a billion dollar industry. The total asset of Planned Parenthood is 1.3 billion US dollars and they get 500 million US dollars every year. So where does women's rights come here? Do you think this empowers our women? So my question is, can you trust Indian news media anymore? Why didn't they cover about the baby pot scandal, in spite of the fact that there are 4,000 centers of the same organization in our country? I think it's time for us to stop being silent and start to do something. Thank you so much for watching the video.